I've been watching a bunch of baseball lately. It's been fun. Mostly Angels, but the Angels are off today, so the national broadcaster is covering this game because Darvish, the pitcher, is Japanese. They said it's his ninth year in the league, I think. I remember when he was first signed, and uh, but poor guy hasn't been pitching well. We're only at the top of the second, and there's three runs already, so we'll see how this goes. Hey there, Kazen here, and welcome back to Always Doing. It is time yet again for the mid-month book bash dreamed up by Doris over at Aldi Books. Link to her down below. Um, link to my readathon playlist down below because I've been doing these almost every month. So much fun. It's a long weekend where you read as much as possible. And if you saw my recent catch up with a cup of video, you will know that I am doing a monthly focus on physical books, and you're definitely going to see that in what I have set aside for this round. Let's head right into my spread and right into the books. Let's start with the books I'll be reading first. In progress, self-study encyclopedia. I think I'm on page 480, right there. So between, I read this on weekdays. So between Friday and Monday, that's 40 pages around to have reading, to be reading in that. Reading the Romance by Aunt Janice A. Radway. I think I have a hundred pages. There's some notes at the end. Um, to go on that, as you can see, I'm going ham with the post-its. I would like to finish this one. And speaking of books that I want to finish, The Song of Achilles, I believe this was from last mid-month book bash, right? Right? I haven't touched it since because I want to blast through that in one go. Hoping this weekend will be the time. Then a new start, Whose Names Are Unknown, by Sonora Bob. This is the Life's Library book this round, so I won't be reading the whole thing. I think it's the first two sections. It's maybe 60 pages. But this is very much like Grapes of Wrath, apparently. The author, I forgot if she was part of the WPA, but she took notes on everything she saw during the Dust Bowl. And what's his name? Steinbeck <laughs> actually used those notes when he wrote Grapes of Wrath. And that book was published first, and then... The publishers wouldn't touch this one even though they'd already accepted it because it was too close and it wasn't published until like 2004 so and it's by university press go them that will be interesting and then digitally i have well i've actually read takeover by anazabo but there is an additional short story that's an epilogue i have maybe 10 pages left that will probably be the first thing i finish zabo bought back the rights for this series so they're all available um, in a subscription service I belong to, so I'm taking advantage of that. Then for my romance book club, which meets on Monday, we have Rhythm by Marie Lipscomb. This is a plus-size romance. Both the hero and the heroine are plus-size, and it's supposed to be really good. It's a novella, about 150 pages. I'm sure it'll fly by. The other two books I don't have here to show you, one is Pretender, which is from the Foreigner series by C.J. Cherry. I'm buddy reading that with Rachel at Kalanati. And then uh, my book two prize book, which I'm not going to show you. So then let's look at my spread. Can I balance this, please? Okay. We're going with a summer theme because it is July. My goals, 700 pages. I have four books I want to finish. If I get through all of them, that is the 700 pages. But I'm not saying, you know, that I have to finish exactly those 700 pages. I would like to do a thousand at a stretch. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the time, but we will try. Also, a lot of these books are kind of heavy and take a lot of thinking, so mm. second goal is to stay off of social media. That doesn't mean no social media. I have a habit of checking in the morning if the U.S. has blown up since I fell asleep. It's a bad habit from the past four years, but I'm going to be allowing that at least. And then I hope to finish three books, five at a stretch. And for my tracking, I'm going by pages, and each block is 10, so that's why it's 160 space, 180 there. And if there's a solid line after it, that means that's the end. And then for these, I would like to get up to this point and would like to continue. So let's get going. And I totally forgot to show you my washi this time. We are going for the summer vibes. I'm going for the water and the sky and then green. Once you see the stickers, uh, you'll see this, these are the colors that pull them all together. So this game was going very, very poorly for San Diego. They are down 8-1. I've been doing other things 
but the Nationals pitcher has hit two guys and loaded the bases. So things are getting interesting. Bottom of the fourth, bases loaded, full count. And apparently this guy has hit three grand slams, I guess in his career maybe, or this year or something, a lot. <gasps> Seriously, this batter has, this pitcher has already hit two people. Wow. I don't blame him because two of his other people have been hit, so I wouldn't be chancing that either. Yet again, base is loaded, full count. You bet there's somebody up in the bullpen. So as soon as I turned off the camera, there'll be a replay, but most excellent. We have a game now. This game, I do not believe this game, pops it up. Oh, that's a shame. There's so many people. There's a guy on second and, you know, pops it up. That stinks. But wait, wait. Scores a run. Eight, seven. I have no idea how I'm going to concentrate on reading when the game is tied. Well, this was a great game. Bottom of the ninth. That hit was for the game-winning run. And at home, too. That was surprisingly a great game. So it's about 6.30. Rice is in the cooker. I have a little bit more time to read before I need to make dinner. And I'm reading my book for his book, which is fine. But it feels long. Like, for some reason, I think in the physical copy, the print must be really small or something because I am reading so much but it only counts for a few pages and it's but I got through today's section and I'm thinking that while I have some momentum I'm going to try and push through tomorrow's section as well and that way I don't have to think about it until Monday which would be a wonderful wonderful thing and to reward myself I have 10 pages left in a romance epilogue and it looks like it's going to be sexy, so that will be encouragement, a reward, right? Happy Saturday morning, and it feels great because the sun is actually kind of sort of out. It's only thin clouds this morning, not rain clouds. I'm sure that will change over the course of the day, but I'm soaking up the vitamin D through my window, if that happens. While I can, I've put my plants also next to the window because they've been struggling because yeah we don't get much light. I started my day by reading in bed. I finished the short story epilogue to take over by Anazabo. It was good. It was nice. It finished things off well. It was a good epilogue so excellent. I also read the first half of Rhythm which is good. I really like the banter. I like they say the witty thing that you wish you would remember to say. Uh, there's already been some hot sex but about halfway through we come on to a misunderstanding and I was like okay we're gonna close you up now I'm sure I'll like the second half but didn't want a misunderstanding first thing in the morning and since then I've been getting my bookish life together just, you know updating my spreadsheet looking at new releases coming out figuring out things I'm gonna do I was going to caption Sunday's video but the ca auto captions haven't populated yet which is odd so I luckily I have time I can give it another day and another baseball game is starting at 11 so I'm planning to stitch while I watch that and just basically chill and go into the reading in the afternoon oh I did get through today's section of my book two prize book which I'm so happy about and um, I'm looking forward to reading all of the fun stuff today this is a site I'm not used to on my desk having a stack of physical books Sunday morning. I didn't film too much yesterday. The baseball game was okay, but it was nowhere near as memorable as Friday's. And I chipped away at a lot of stuff. I read a bunch, not a bunch, but reading the romance. And I got to the part about talking about rape in romance, in the ideal romance. The next chapter is about a failed romance and how that's different. And for the times, I can see why it held appeal. I'm glad 
we've moved beyond that, but uh, this book is making me interested in reading a whole bunch of old school romance to see everything she's talking about put into action. So, and again, all the all the post-its I started whose names are unknown by Sonora Bob, and it's okay so far. It's gonna be slow. There's not gonna be a lot of plot. Not so sure how, but I'm only 30 pages in, so we'll see. And this morning I finished Rhythm, which was okay. I really like the writing. I like the playfulness of the characters, some of the good comebacks they have, and the banter. That's totally my thing. I like rockstar romances, so that was good. But the big misunderstanding that the whole thing hinges on, I'm just not a fan of big misunderstandings. My favorite character was Nick, because even though they're only on like five pages, they were like, dude, you're being an idiot. And you know, you have no idea. You just overheard, half overheard something. And like, uh, that, that was me. <laughs> the whole book so I really like this real this minor side character but I am excited that the next book in the series has already come out so I'm going to check that out at some point I like that it's own voices fat rep and uh yeah so it was it was pretty good it wasn't my favorite but it was okay then I went and checked the captions for today's video and they're still not up so failed captions I'm just gonna have to type those in I'm very thankful it's a six minute video instead of like a 26 minute video because it won't take too long I'm a decent typer but yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to read some more of Reading the Romance. This is the next book I want to finish because my goal is to... Actually, let me just show you my spread. So here we are. And my goal is 700 pages. I th I'm at around 330 right now, two days in. So basically on point for that, if, but not the stretch. Stay off self social media. I'm doing decent. I am locking down Twitter during the day. On my phone that's good finished three books i have two the takeover epilogue and rhythm that i just finished and so here's how the pages are looking today so today i would really like to finish reading the romance that would be cool achilles might be tomorrow but like this book is also gonna tear up my heart and is gonna yeah we'll see i just not need to finish that and I know it will read quick. That'd be a good way to get pages. Hear me trying to convince myself. And Pretender was closer to 20 pages, but I just missed the 160 mark. So that's how we're saying for now. But first, captions. And stitching. I had to move the fabric over because things are going well. But I'm trying to work in here a bit. And I'm also slowly bringing this blue down. And... Done. Book number three. I have lots of thoughts. So I might end up doing a separate review of this or a review of it with the other literary criticism books I have about romance. We will see, but very interesting. Monday means a return to reality and I don't know if you want to call it appointment reading. This is my Dokugaku self-study encyclopedia. Before, like in the very beginning, I couldn't read very many pages an hour. It would take me an hour to get through 20 pages with everything I was looking up, but now that I know uh, some words that this author likes and I've gotten used to their style, it's sped up a bunch. So either I'll stop once I reach today's target, or I'll just read on through for some more pages, some padding. But I have this, and I have my book two prize book, but that's also slow going. I mean, this is slow going because it's Japanese. The book two prize book is slow going because I suspect there's lots of text on each page in the physical copy. So hitting 700 pages is going to be kind of hard. To make up for that, uh, I can read my buddy read because that's going well. I can also, I started this yesterday, The Devil You Know by Kit Roka. I'm only 10 pages in right now. This is science fiction romance. It comes out at the end of August, I believe. And I really like the first book in the series, this is the second, so I'm looking forward to reading this. This should fly. I just realized that we've gone a whole vlog and I don't think I filmed any food yet. So, unfortunately you get bog standard gudon, simmered beef, onions, in mirin and soy sauce, and dashi broth that will be put over rice. It is delicious. It's not all that hard to make. And while this simmers, I'll be able to read, which is always great. Ta-da! Finished product. It's Tuesday morning, so let's have a look at how I ended up. 
I ended up reading 609 pages, a little bit less than I wanted, but considering how much of what I read was nonfiction or otherwise heavy, I will take it. I did finish three books. I mostly stayed off of social media. I'm proud of myself for that. And here's how it looks overall. If you'd like to talk about anything in this video, any of the books, any of the anything, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.